Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos playing The Legend of Zelda. We got our sword back because we got the Triforce. We could also go talk to a fairy if we lose our sword, or I believe drinking a potion will also restore it, or touching the blue bubble. Yeah, we beat level 4, so now it takes us to where level 5 used to be, which is that fairy just above where we were. Yeah, we'll use this for now. Now we're going to be going to level 3 now. I know there's a raft location by there, but... That'll take us to level 5. Level 5 is a whiz rogue dungeon. And I want a magical sword before I go there. And I would love to go into level 8. But I don't have enough money. Because that's where another bomb upgrade is. And we'll need a bait through there too. So for now... We're just going to go get this heart container. I don't know why I'm using this wand. If only I could turn off the book. Well, we have enough for our second bait. And don't think we've seen the last of those leave your money or life, guys. So yeah, that heart container, exact same location. Now where could level 3 be? I don't know if I, I don't think I came here to show you guys yet. I should be killing these things for money, but... Up here where level 2 used to be? Well now we've got a lake that looks a lot like where level 7 was in quest 1. And same deal. The lake will not drain over there where 7 was. There's actually nothing there now. I know it's sad. So here is level 3. We got some Garayas. get a little more aggressive and they glow. They take two hits with the white sword. Especially with those statues shooting at you. Not today, Mr. Stalfos. Trying to do your best impersonation of a Lionel. Grumble, grumble! Alright. It's gotta get hung. Oh, whoa, that is not. <laughs> That was not what I wanted to choose, but that was amusing nevertheless. Here you go. I must get hungry under these lakes. Alright, back to my boomerang. Good thing we have keys. Magical boomerang, the inferior model, as you will. 
Now we're just gonna head back to the entrance. Now you see on our map there's that weird little uh, two rooms way over there. Now interestingly enough, I don't know if you all knew this, but uh, you can actually, all the maps fit together. Like from the first quest, dungeons one through six all fit together on like a grid of uh, what is it like? Basically like the size of the overworld map. And then seven, eight, and nine as well. And the little spaces in between would be the downstairs rooms where there's either the passages or the uh, item rooms. Same thing with the second quest, which I thought was kind of cool. And I actually did not know that until recently. It makes sense though. Save space. So we just picked up a heart container there. Went kind of quick. Oh, and we got wall masters. Don't grab me. I don't want to know what you've been doing with that creepy blue hand. And this will take us over there to that little section. I believe is over there uh, when the maps are put together by where the level 5 map is. Whoops, I did not mean to. Well, at least I'm getting some money. Every little bit helps. And here's the Triforce. That was a pretty quick dungeon. Now we're going to go on a trek to get our magical sword, and I'll probably even show you where the entrance to uh, <clears throat> level 9 is. So let's see... This should take me to level 1, I hope. Yep. If you're facing right and you blow it, it'll take you to the next dungeon that you beat in the sequence of where you will go. If you blow up multiple times, it'll skip to the next one, and if you're facing left, it will go to the next one in reverse. So once you uh, figure all that out, it can make some routing a little easier between where you want to go. So we're heading up to Death Mountain. Now there's actually another secret, I think, that's up here two that we need to grab still. I don't need that fairy. Well, I guess technically I'm down a fourth of a heart, even though it doesn't show it. Alrighty. See, this is the arrow. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> this will make the whiz robes go down a lot quicker. And the less time that they're alive, the longer I survive. It's mainly those blue ones that think they're casting Moonfire. when you can stun them.
Dang it, I do not have a magical sword, remember, shield. I do not have a magical shield. I cannot fend off those attacks by blocking. Okay, so... Is this where it is? Hold on. Like I said, I don't want to get these door repair charges. Uh, yeah, this is the one I need to bomb. There's like so many of the door repair and so little of the secrets in the second quest. bombing for secrets over here. I can't remember if I got the one where level 6 was in quest 1. Man, those guys are... they can be dangerous. Well, we need to get the letters still too, so it's a good thing we're heading over here. like a door repair charge there. I'm running into swords, like I don't care. Ah, oh, but the fairy's here to save me again. Alright, so right here, I think? This is where level 9 is. Ones who does not have Triforce can't go in. So we'll have to come back later. It's all good, though. Yeah, so let's just head down here. Even though we don't want anything in the screen, it's just a money-making game. But we can kill more Lionels. And get hit by more Sword Beams. Lots more Sword Beams. Ah! Okay. I'm not gonna fall for it. I fell for that one though. Whew. Damn it. Yeah, that's what you wanna move. And this is where the letter resides. Alright, now we can take that to the old woman and buy potions, but we're not doing that yet. This has been Ultra Lavos playing The Legend of Zelda. Next time we're going to tackle some Wizrobes. See you all then.